And all look good. Hey, this is Louis Jones for Frankelbacks.com here in New York City with Judah Friedlander, full grown men. So anyways, tell us about your experience because of the two, you're the evolved one. Yeah, so, so I how, am, well, how was that experience? Yeah, I actually, believe it or not, play the guy who has his act together in this movie. I'm like the more sophisticated together person. I usually play the messed up psycho <laughs> dude, but in this one I'm like the normal guy. I'm the mature person in this movie. How does that feel though? Did you ever think that Albie should have been my role or something? Did you ever think well, that? Yeah, I mean when they were casting it, they did have me in mind for that also. And you know, I told them I can play that role, you know, with my eyes closed. You know, but they really had me in mind for the Elias one. And I liked it too because you know, I usually play the, the weird guy or the different guy, and this one I got to play the more normal guy. So it was, I liked doing that. It was different, you know. For me, playing a normal guy is different. For other people, it's not. But for me, it was different, so I enjoyed it. But throughout your filmography, I think you've been um, becoming more sensitive a person in the personas you've been doing. Uh, in fact, a lot of them are outside of this persona that we see. Yes. Or yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different. Uh, I, I agree. And thanks for noticing that. You're getting and sensitive, more sensitive. Yeah, this, sensitive. This, this is a very sensitive movie, actually. And, and my, the character I play in it is a very sensitive person. You know, he's a special ed teacher, and, and uh, he is a sensitive guy. So, yeah, it's good, it's good doing things and roles that are much different from roles I usually do and different from yourself also. It's great. Is that a career choice, if you don't mind me asking? I try to do things that are different. You know, in this business... They're always trying to stereotype you. You know, if you do one thing well, they're just going to look for you at just that type of role over and over again. So you got to really fight to get any kind of role that's different. You know, it's hard. It's not easy. Because people, they like to just see you as doing one thing. And if you can do more than one thing, it's hard to make them realize that. Yeah. Um, I usually notice that comedians go up the ranks, like become superstars in their own field, but you're not only going doing Hollywood films and independent films, but you're also an award-nominated actor, if uh, I'm not mistaken. That's like in, correct, yeah. Indie Spirit a, Awards, right? I got an Independent Spirit Award right. for Best Supporting Actor for American Splendor. Yeah! And, Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And uh, this movie, Dwayne Hopwood, I did. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a Best Actor thing at a festival for that, so yes. that was cool. Uh -huh. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it's good. I like doing different things, you know, working with uh, interesting people and people trying to do unique things, you know, and that's, you know, that's one of the reasons I did this movie, was that they were really trying to go for something uh, unique and different, you know. So tell us about your comedy. I know you're a stand-up act, right? Yeah. So you still do it? You still go on the road? Yeah, I just came from, I'm, I'm kind of in my stand-up gear here. Yeah, and world champion in Spanish. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just came from a show. Right before coming to the Q and A tonight. Did you do it? I where? Yeah. There's a club called Comics. Oh yeah, Comics. That's about the next, right? uh, yes, about ten blocks Beautiful from here. Place, right? yeah. And later tonight, I'm doing another one at the Comedy Cellar down on McDougal Street. Wow. So yeah, so I get around a lot, and I go out of town a lot, but mostly in New York. Congratulations. Thanks, man. I usually ask the um, you know artists advice to future artists out there, like how to pursue this, like. Does one start with doing stand-up act and going beyond that? And uh, what, what does one do? To you, can't, you can't plan too much. I think <laughs> the best advice is to be active. Mm -hmm. You know, w the way technology is now, especially with filmmaking, you can do it. There's no excuse to not be making something because... You know, video and film equipment has gotten so much cheaper and accessible, and you can edit on computers. You should be able to make it. Make, you know, get out there and do stuff. If you're an actor, get out there and audition for things. You know, take an acting class, do whatever, make your own movie. If you want to do stand-up, almost every state in the country, and maybe every state in the country has a comedy club or a comedy night somewhere. Go up and. Uh, Try to put five minutes together and give it a shot. Yeah, just go out and do it. Do stuff. Create stuff. Don't just watch TV or <laughs> sit on the computer all day. Do stuff. <laughs> create. Get out there. Do something. Do it. Yeah. That's it, man. Yeah, congratulations, It's about man. the work, you know. Exactly. Strategizing career-wise, you can, you can do that all night, all day, <laughs> you know. It's a crazy biz. It's about the work. So can you tell them what's next for Judah? 
Uh, what's next for me? Well, I'm going to break more world records. Yeah. I'm going to hook up with a lot more hot chicks. And uh, I'm going to keep being the world champion. Don't worry. America, I'm here for you. <laughs> and, uh, Do you have a website that we can check yeah, out? Yeah, judahfriedlander.com. And if you can't spell that, uh, check out worldchampionoftheworld.com. Right. It's the same website. Yeah. Oh. Chicks, hit me up on MySpace. Check it out. Nice. MySpace. I'm going to write mm -hmm. it down here. And then I got some other film projects coming up. Uh, the TV show 30 Rock. We're going to start filming the third season soon. And, uh, yeah, there you go. I actually saw you at um, the line on uh, Baby Mama. Baby yes, I went to yeah. see Baby Mama. That was a lot of fun, that movie. Yeah. And uh, my boss, Tina Fey, was starring in that movie, and I uh, went to support her. It was great. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, we start August, we start filming 30 Rock again. So, looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah. You know. Congratulations, man. I'm Thanks. so proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, guys? It's Judah Friedlander. I'm here with the Full Grown Men movie poster. Full Grown Men opens June 25th in New York City here at Cinema Village on 12th Street and you are watching fanclubx.com it's a cool site that's why I'm on it because it's cool